Hello everyone, this is Ravens from Digital Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 230. Nearly 58% of Elon Musk followers who participated in his Twitter poll have told him to sell 10% of his stock in the electric car company. That would be around worth 24 billion US dollars. While 57.9% of more than 3.5 million participants have voted yes and 42.1% voted no. It's been widely reported that US-based electric maker Tesla will officially launch the Model Pi phone later this year. It is not clear exactly when. Every day in search engines, people ask the same question: Is Tesla releasing a phone? But the answer is yes. We will see Elon Musk smartphone very soon. But there are some render images of the phone. It comes with an additional feature like Starlink satellite connectivity. The Tesla Model Pi is also rumored to have four cameras, solar charging, and a skin that changes color in the future. stick design and there is an another rumor that the model pi is also rumored to have a brain phone interface from the neuralink the company controlled by musk is developing a ultra high bandwidth brain machine interfaces to connect humans and computers the most persistent rumor is that phone will have a starlink connection that would enable the phone to work on mars too and will be able to connect to earthlings This year's Diwali business sale crossed over rupees 1.25 lakh crore which is a record trade figure in the last 10 years. This was confirmed by the Confederation of All India Traders on Friday. Encouraged by tremendous Diwali business, the traders across the country are now gearing up for the sale of wedding season scheduled to start from November 14th, the day of Dev Uttan Ekadashi. The Color OS 12 November rollout plan reveals that Oppo Find X3 Pro will be the first to bank the update in the stable branch. The release will commence mid November in Indonesia, Malaysia and Thailand and will be done on a batch by batch basis. The next in the line will be the Oppo Find X2 Pro that will start receiving Color OS 12 from November 17th onwards in India and Indonesia. The phone is joined by the Find X2 Pro Automobile Lamborghini edition in India and the Find X2 in India and Indonesia. But unlike the Find X3 Pro This model will get beta and not stable as of yet. Geofon rupees 152 data plan offers 2 GB of high speed daily data and offers 28 days validity. This pack does not offer any voice calling benefits and access to Geo suite of applications. The rupees 152 plan comes as an add-on to the active recharge pack. Netflix reportedly working to bring its game service to iOS devices. Netflix will take a work around route to get games onto iOS while still abiding by Apple's guidelines. The launch of the Netflix games for iOS is expected soon. Motorola X has been officially teased by the company. This handset could arrive as a flagship offering with the Snapdragon 898 chipset. Motorola X hardware specifications are not revealed at this moment. Intel i7 12700H was spotted in the upcoming HP Omen 17 laptop accompanied by the rumored Nvidia RTX 3080 Ti confirming its existence. OnePlus has just announced that OnePlus 9 RT supports 120 frames per second gameplay on the Honor of Kings game which goes by name Arena of Valor globally. OnePlus Note 2 Pac-Man limited edition model teased to launch in India soon. This phone will come with the Pac-Man themes and new color options. OnePlus Note 2 Pac-Man edition could feature a Snapdragon 778G processor instead of MediaTek Dimensity 3200 processor. This special edition is priced at rupees 37999 in India. OnePlus is set to reveal the availability details in the country. Another OnePlus Note 2 smartphone has reportedly exploded in India. The owner of the device seemingly received severe burns. This is not the first time that we have heard a OnePlus Note 2 exploding. Paytm IPO is available in the price band of Rs. 2080 to Rs. 2150 per share. Paytm IPO is the biggest in the country's corporate history breaking a record held by Coal India. It implies a valuation of around Rs. 1.48 lakh crore. The company skipped pre-IPO funding round to expedite the launch of the initial share sale. The IPO will close for subscription on November 10th. Poco F3 refresh has been officially confirmed by the company. This handset is set to debut on November 9th alongside the Poco M4 Pro. Poco F3 refresh could come with a better chipset, improved optics and a bigger battery. WhatsApp reportedly working on a community feature. Evidence suggests that WhatsApp community feature is similar to Discord group and channels. WhatsApp community to allow admins to add new users to the community via links. 
Samsung is going to launch an unpack even for S21 fan edition which is on January 4, 2022. There is no pre-order period and it is available from January 11, 2022. And there is an another unpack even for S22 lineup which is going to launch on Feb 8, 2022 at 10 a.m. EST. And the pre-orders will begin on the same day and it will be available from Feb 18, 2022. Samsung is reportedly working on the Galaxy Tab S8 series of flagship tablets. Previous leaks have revealed that the lineup includes three models such as Galaxy Tab S8, S8 Plus and S8 Ultra. These models are said to be powered by a Qualcomm forthcoming flagship called as a Snapdragon 898 chipset. Today an upcoming Samsung tablet with SMX808U powered by the Snapdragon 898 chip appeared in the database of Geekbench benchmarking site. It can be said based on the recent report that it could be the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus tablet. The shortage of IC components emerging in early October for iPhone 13 series is gradually easing as suppliers increase production with assemblers on track to set up manufacturing through next February to meet terminal demand. While some homegrown companies are betting big on feature phones in India, the feature phone market still see a sharp decline in quarter 3. As per the report, India's feature phone market declined over 21 percentage in the third quarter this year, driven by continued consumer transaction to smartphones, iTel of 27 percentage, Lava of 19 percentage and Samsung of 14 percentage captured the top 3 spots. In the next Nokia with 13 percentage and Carbon with 10 percent market share summed with the top 5 list in the third quarter according to the latest CMR data thanks for watching this video please kindly support my channel by giving a like share and subscribe and follow digi integrity on twitter instagram and facebook